<laughs> now this is cool. This massive big redwood tree, believe it or not, wasn't more than about 120 years old. Just massive big tree died. And somebody hired a carver to get in here and do the Los Gatos El Gato Cat. And I am really impressed with this. Now the question is, how long will this last out in the weather? Well, the, the thing about redwood, a lot of people believe that redwood is decay resistant and will not get infested with bugs and will not have a problem. But if you, if you look really closely at the grain on this tree, you'll see, you'll see the, the growth rings are all very, very far apart. In a lot of cases, if you look down here, you can see that, that a lot of these growth rings are as much as an inch apart. So this is what I refer to as a, a rapid growing downhill urban redwood, as opposed to a native redwood that would be naturalized up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. So what's the difference, do you say, or do you ask? Well, the difference is that if you have a redwood tree that, well, let's back up a little bit. Let's say the base of this tree is eight feet across. If you had an eight foot across diameter redwood in an old growth forest up in the Santa Cruz Mountains or Humboldt or Yosemite or someplace like that, an eight foot diameter tree could very likely be 500 to 1,000 years old. Why? Well, an old growth tree ekes out its living by fighting for space. All the larger trees dominate the space and the younger trees that are working their way up to the, the sunlight grow very, very slow. They get really tall and skinny and they get up to the sunlight and finally they get out their own little bit of sunlight and because they don't get any natural, or they, they don't get any uh, additional irrigation, uh, it's just all natural irrigation. In this case, this tree has been in a lawn for its entire life. This is in front of the Los Gatos High School, by the way. Looks like a college, doesn't it? Okay, so the difference between an old growth redwood and a second growth redwood, or an urban redwood. Second growth is in a native environment where they cut down all the other trees and suddenly there's lots of sunlight. Those trees grow pretty fast. In an urban environment where there's lawns and additional irrigation, these trees grow too fast. And consequently, you've got growth rings, in this case, an inch apart. So the long and the short of it is this wood is not decay resistant. It is going to become susceptible to fungus all the things that are going to try to put this stump back into the ground and turn it back into earth are going to take place faster than they would an old growth tree or even a second growth tree. And part of the reason why is the slowness of the growth. Every year the tree accumulates tannins and builds up a higher concentration. And while it's true that an old growth redwood lumber is resistant to decay and insects, and urban redwood lumber is not, not at all. And the second growth is somewhere in between. So will this beautiful statue last? Only if they keep treating it.